wrong for 300, ma'am. So I'm going to have to take that and deduct that from your winnings today because you're wrong. If you look, you will see that most of his documentaries were actually paid for by the people. He didn't give that to the people. The fucking people gave that shit to him. Do you not know that? Do you not know that he raised a half a million dollars on his website to fucking make Hidden Colors 5? So did he give back to the community? Looks like to me, the community gave this nigga half a million dollars to make his motherfucking documentary. And then he didn't even give the documentary to the community for free. He didn't even pay to have it made. He turned around and sold it to you and made money off the very people that paid to have the motherfucking documentary created. Now, would you like to take that comment back, sis? For the motherfucker who put that he gave the community Hidden Colors 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Really? Did he give that shit to us or did we give it to him? I'm going to be quiet for a minute so you can answer that question too. You don't get to say he gave us documentaries. Do you know how many people give documentaries? Do you know how many people talk about all kind of shit? He made solution-based movies. Okay, I watched The Hidden Colors. See, this is why we're so this is why we're so lost because we are so fickle and so quick to be told. Somebody said he made solution-based. Did he? I watched Hidden Colors. It was a whole lot of information in all of those documentaries to give you an understanding of where you're from, what is really going on to us in this country. But I didn't hear any solutions in there. Which one of you niggas watched one, any of the Hidden Colors and then you got up and you had a solution from watching it and then you went and did something in your life to change black people's situations in this country? You're a lie. You're a lie. Those are not solution-based documentaries. You sound stupid as fuck. They're knowledge. Their knowledge. There's a difference between knowledge and solutions. So you have knowledge and then you take the knowledge and you wrap that knowledge up in some type of a solution to get to where you need to be. He didn't give anybody any fucking solutions. All he did was told you the truth of what happened to us in this country. There is a fucking difference. You do know that, right? Okay, so let's let's go to the next thing. So sis, shout out to you, Dorothy. Thank y'all for all the all the donations in the chat. Y'all excuse me for not shouting them out. I'm I, I see them and I I don't mean to be missing them, y'all. I'm just over here going in because I'm mad as fuck. I really am. So for all of y'all that wanted to, that all of y'all want to defend uh Tariq that's in the chat and y'all say his movies are so great, then explain this. Why is Tariq Nasheed raising two hundred thousand dollars on his website right now? so that next year he can throw one conference in Atlanta, Georgia. Would any of you that are defending Tariq Nasheed like to take a shot at that fucking question? Will he make me shut up, my nigga? Y'all stupid. Y'all come here and say, dumb shit, bitch, shut up. You think that hurts my feelings? Do you know how many bitches I've been called in my life? Fuck out of here. Bitches, shut up. Why don't you make me shut up? Can you do something about that? See, this is the difference. You're on my page, motherfucker. You can't do a motherfucking thing to, to me. <laughs> Somebody answer that question for me. That all of y'all want to defend him. Instead of saying dumb shit like, bitch, shut up. Instead of saying dumb things like he gave us solution-based documentaries. Why don't you, yes, explain to me why he needs $200,000 to throw one conference in one city. I'm going to need you stupid motherfuckers to answer that for me. Somebody said, what do you do, Michi X? Robert Lewis, you're obviously new around here. Stupid motherfucker, get off my page. Michi does a whole lot for the community. And matter of fact, I've thrown eight conferences around this country. And let me tell you that it probably cost me in total only about $30,000 to do eight fucking cities, motherfucker. That's what I do, you bitch. I've been all around this country. Did you hear me? Eight fucking conferences. We will be in Houston on November the 9th. It ain't cost me nowhere near that much to throw these conferences. And this is why the fuck I'm mad. Because I know this nigga don't need that kind of motherfucking money. Do you like to say anything else, you bitch ass nigga that just spoke? What do you do? Motherfucker, do your research on me. See, I've done my research on Tariq Nasheed, and I've kept my tongue for a long-ass time, but this motherfucking $200,000 for a goddamn conference, I think we're a little bit over the line, and this is where I draw the line, and I now got to fucking say something. See, because I throw conferences. I know what they cost, and this nigga's full of shit. So for all of y'all that are fucking defending him, I don't hear anybody defending that. Why does this nigga need... 
to, uh, no, I don't charge $200 for tickets to get in. My tickets are not that high. And anybody who does not have funds to get in, I actually will give free tickets away all the time. And once our venue is fully paid for, we actually give the rest of the tickets away for fucking donations, my nigga. Angela Hill said, why do you care? Bitch, if you talking to me, I care because as a black person that runs around this country giving all I have to fucking sit here and try and free my people, I'm tired of watching these slick ass niggas with these big lips and these fancy words and this shiny ass shit come up here and fucking lie to our people, use our people, mistreat our people and, and do it in the name of saying they black too. Fuck out of here. Black motherfuckers can get it. White motherfuckers can get it. All you motherfuckers can get it. If you are a detriment to the black community, I'm calling all of you niggas out. Tariq Nasheed does not need $200,000 to throw a conference. And this is what's funny to me. How come Tariq Nasheed never pays for anything? Anything, my nigga. Do you see anybody else having crowd fundraisers to throw a conference? All that money this nigga done made off the black community in Hidden Colors 5, he doesn't have enough money to front the money up front and pay for his own fucking conference and then charge tickets at the door. So he gonna throw a conference only if you give him the fucking money. Really? Everything this nigga does, he goes to the community and you niggas always give him all your fucking money. He does not need $200,000 to throw a conference. He could throw a conference, and I'm telling you this from a fucking professional aspect because I've been doing nothing but throwing conferences all this year. $20,000 to $30,000 will get this nigga a dope venue. It will give him enough money to pay any staff that he needs. It will probably get him enough that he could fit at least a thousand people in a room. If he can put that many people in a room, let's see. <laughs> it's not that easy as he might motherfucking think, but he could probably put a thousand people in that room. He could probably cater to them and fucking feed them lunch at the lunch break at no cost to them. And he could do all of that with twenty five to thirty thousand dollars. And when I say that, that's a really bougie-ass venue because I could make all of that happen for probably $15,000. So why does he need $180,000 more than it really causes to fucking throw a conference? Nobody wants to answer that, do they? Y'all just want to look over that shit. And it really pisses me off because for as much as they say that we're broke in this motherfucking country and we don't have no money, I watch us run to give motherfuckers our money all goddamn day. I'm so tired of watching black people fucking pimp other black people because riding the oppression wave <coughs> or riding the wave to try and sell us some shit about our blackness, we run to that shit. Because of our conditioning. And even though white people fucking use it so that they can capitalize on us, you know how many fucking black people are around here doing the same thing to us? And it's fucking sickening. And I'm so fucking tired of it. I really am. I don't have money like Tariq Nasheed, and I'm not doing fundraising. People give donations to me all the time, and I give all my donations to the Black, Mo the black Agenda Movement, and they give donations, but you will not find a crowd fundraiser up anywhere with a fucking amount. Whatever the fuck we don't goddamn get, we come out of our own pockets. This nigga got way more money than me, and he fucking can't come off of no money to invest in any fucking thing that he does? He wants y'all to pay for the conference. And just like that movie he made, don't be surprised if he charged you to get into the conference. Like, we don't even get to see what's going on yet. But my question is, like, just like Hidden Colors 5, y'all niggas paid a half a million dollars to make him help him make that movie. And then when he made the movie, he sold it back to the very people who fucking helped him make it in the first place. What kind of shit? What kind of sense does that make? So he fucking hit y'all twice. So he asking for two hundred thousand dollars. My question would be: Are you going to turn around now and then charge people a ticket price to get into your conference as well? Because you do know if the people have paid for your conference, motherfucker, and the conference is for the people, your conference should be free. It's called morale. These niggas have no morale, and y'all don't hold these motherfuckers to any standard of fucking integrity either. 
Y'all don't hold these niggas to no standard. Y'all just let them do whatever the fuck. Y'all be so caught up on that. Man, I don't take a nigga serious that fucking at his grown ass, he's sliding across the stage looking like Cameo with furs on fucking talking about a mink slide. Y'all niggas should have knew he was full of shit when he did that right there. And I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm being serious as fuck. And the funny thing is, Tariq got y'all wrapped around his motherfucking uh, finger, right? Somebody said, uh, 200000 is a lot, but a real um, event space, hotel, meetings room, conference center, speakers, and hotels cost money. Um, Marga Jinta, whatever your name is, they don't cost $200,000. So please just, I just told you that he could do all of that for about $30,000. And that's even if he threw that shit at a bougie-ass motherfucking Marriott. But if you're going to have a conference about foundational black Americans, you probably should stay true to the people, Tariq. And even Dr. Watkins' fake ass, you should probably stop giving Marriott and all these white people your money to throw conferences. Why don't you fucking find a black-owned venue and pay black people to throw the motherfucking conference at their venue? And I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what you say. Unless you've thrown a conference, I need you to shut the fuck up. Unless you've thrown a conference, shut the fuck up. Talk about hotel rooms and this and that. Who are you telling? I have a crew of 10 people. Shut the fuck up. I fly all my people out. I fucking put all my people up. I feed them while they're there. And we put on a whole fucking conference. I don't need you to tell me how much this shit costs. I know how much this shit costs. You never thrown a conference? Shut the fuck up. It don't cost $200,000. And for all of you coming here and saying somebody a hater, trust me, I knew that when I went live, I was going to get that bullshit. Oh, 